Shalom, Shalom, Yashaela, Israel. First, I just want to start off with saying, Kawala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikar Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Um, Shalom to the Akrams out there that's been faithful to the Most High to the best of their ability, that's rehearsing these laws, that's commandments to the best of their ability. Shalom, Akram. And uh, <clears throat> I just want to come with this uh, little lesson about the. Um, the mark of the beast, and this is the year of Karagma, you know, which Karagma is a, a small chip implanted in your hand or in your forehead that you may not buy or sell without it. Matter of fact, let's go read that. Let's read that right quick, and then we'll get into this video. Let's read that. Let me see. Let's go to, what is it, Revelations, uh, I think 13, let me see, all right, let's read Revelation 13, and we're going to start at 16, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and it can be either hand it can be either hand so we just it just says right right here when you go into uh, revelation 4 it says in their hands it says uh we call uh let's start this over and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bun to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. All right, and so we know this mark, which is the, um, which is Karagma, which is the RFID microchip, you know, and um, that's what, you know, Esau, the red Hebrew like the so-called white man, is implementing and pushing, you know, right now. And um, if you receive this mark, that um, you'll be um, cut off, and you'll be cut off definitely from Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. So, um, ain't no hope for you if you receive this mark, man, this RFID microchip. You know, let me see something right quick. Let's go right here and read this. Let me see. So you'll know that it doesn't matter which hand, even though it said the right hand right there. If they put in their left hand, you still cut off from Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. Uh, Revelation 14 and 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. That's his indignation is his righteous anger. So what the Most High is saying right here, man, the punishment that is destined for the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, mic, anybody uh, that received that mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, Including you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Hispanic, and Native Americans, even though you are Israelites, two-thirds of you are going to die anyway, and you're going to receive the same judgment uh, on this side that the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, might going to receive. That's why it says poor without mixture. So he ain't, he, he ain't having no mercy, no pity when he bring down his indignation, his righteous anger. And it says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that's the judgment that's coming to those who receive this RFID microchip, which is, this is the so-called white man's judgment, the red Hebrew Edomite. Let me read verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and we know that the beast in the image of the beast is the ways of Esau, the Edomites, the red Hebrew Edomites, the so-called white man, you know, keeping his traditions, his Christmas, his Thanksgiving, Eating shrimp and pork, you know, just doing the things he says it's okay to do. Being a homosexual, you know, getting married, uh, divorcing, divorcing your man, and going to be with another man, which is adultery, you know, and a man sleeping, uh, 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 taking another man's wife, which is adultery. So Esau said, "All oh, this is okay." So everything that the so-called white man, the red Hebrew reader, might say is okay, it's opposite. It's not okay. But let me go ahead and finish this. It says, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. 
So right here, it didn't even say right hand. It just said hand. Because no matter what hand you put in, if you want to try to be slick and put in your left, you're still going to get this judgment, man. So uh, let's go into this video. Region. The most cutting edge thing about Hannes Hörblad isn't the phone in his hand. It's the microchip actually in his hand. The tiny implant is the latest advance in a biohacking technology that is steadily becoming a part of normal life in Sweden. We have created... You see that he have it in his left hand. And it's even lighting up red, you know. I mean, it's lighting up in his hand. I ain't never seen it light up in nobody's hand. But I guess they got different kinds. So we, we see what's going on, man. This is the mark of the beast. They promoting it real big. They got, they, they, uh, got bills that they are passing in Colorado and Arkansas and different places, man. And I believe China, China's already there, man. I believe China's going to be the first person to really make it mandatory, China or, or America. And they're doing it in uh, um, Sweden. It's, it's real big on it. Most people in Sweden already chip. Um, the Elamites, which are your red dot East Indians, you know, they're doing this thing real big. So this thing is on its way to America. Everything always happened outside of America, and then it always come to America last. And once it come to America... Then it's on, it's on, man. Cause the Most High is sending His Son back soon, man. And so He said He gonna have to cut the day short. Cause He said if He don't cut the day short, there won't be no men left. So He gonna cut it short as soon as they make that RFID microchip mandatory over in America. Everybody ain't gonna get it, but as soon as they make it mandatory, and it's World War Three kickoff, then you know Yahweh Shah is returning soon. So look towards the east. Look in the sky for me, because he's coming. He says, all eyes will see him. A uh, new implant, which is not a chip, it's a full device where you can add different lights, different uh, vibration, different functions. Sweden is a very tech-literate society. And I think this is the main explanation, really, why a lot of Swedes are... Uh... And you see it says NFC chip. You know, NFC chip and RFID chip is the exact same chip. Just over in Sweden... You know, and overseas, they, you know, you might hear them called the NFC chip. And over here in America, and then maybe up in Europe, uh, Britain, they might call it the RFID microchip. Adopting chip implants. Swedes haven't been shy about upgrading themselves with the new version. Thousands already have microchip implants that they use in their daily lives. You hear what he said? Thousands already have this, man. So you see these people getting these chip and look at it she's got she has a smile on her face you know so they smiling in the face of the most high taking something he said do not take which is this rfid microchip which is karagma and in the apostle to her you know he he did he dedicated this year as uh as karagma you know the year of the microchip man and we see that it's been promoted and it's about to be made mandatory soon man just look at the face on this edomite she might be a Jake. Look at the features on her. You know, she might be one of us, but she's smiling and taking this. So we know that she's going to be doomed. We know she's not going to make it. So she's going to die somehow. The most I can put her to death. Waving their hand to gain entrance to the gym, confirm their ID or make payments. A short moment of pain, not putting them off, becoming part Swede, part machine. This event is an implant party, simply where ordinary people can show up and get a microchip embedded under their skin. The biohacking movement in Sweden is hosting them all over Europe, but it's at home where they get the most willing recipients. I think it's really cool. You don't have to carry any keys or anything. It's just your body. In maybe 10 years, everything will be in your hand. In Sweden, more than anywhere else, the future is already here. The national train company SCA has around 2,600 people signed up to use microchips instead of train tickets. Did you see that? And no need to mind the generation gap. 18-year-old Felicia and Father Magnus still bear the scars of their new implants. Student Hannah Herving is also freshly chipped and now just needs to program it to open doors. Although, importantly for a future career, it does already connect to her LinkedIn. Some people say I'm mad that, um, I don't know if it's safe and all that, 
but people are you are mad and it's not safe so some people are telling you the truth and the most high yeah how was gonna put you to death gonna put this this red hebrew reader might the deaf i've been putting these chips into animals for 20 years so i'm not worried about that the long-term goal is for the new chips to help provide medical care in remote communities they're already getting under the skin of the swedes and may soon become just another normal part of modern life and of the human body yeah so and what i'm gonna do man matter of fact let's go to revelations Let's just go to Revelations and read. Let's go to Revelations of 15 and read 2. 15 and 2. 15 and 2. Let's read this, man. It says, And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And so what this is talking about, this is talking about at the, um, the, um, after the Israelites. Let me start at, let me start at um, 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seal, having the seven, seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of Yahweh. Okay, so, and this is the last ultimate plague right here. And so when this plague take place, which is the off, which is the uh, um, um, the nuclear the nuclear missiles, when those nuclear missiles hit, you know what I'm saying, and um, destroy America. Now, this is what happened. This is going to be the, the 144,000, the elect and the one third. They're going to be caught up in the ships, which you might call UFOs, but um, it's called IFOs to us, which means identify flying object, you know, which is they are the chariots of Israel. So right here, this is once the elect of Yahshua, the elect of, of Israel is called up into the chariots. And, um, they're going to be setting above the heavens, which I think, which I believe it'll be outside like the Van Allen belt. They're going to be setting in the ship and we're going to be looking down from the floor of the ship or through the windows. We're looking down because the ship's got, excuse me, these chariots got windows, man. And we're going to be looking at the window and looking down at the earth been on fire, looking at uh, America been burned. And it says, verse two, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. What do you mean that he saw it as it was a, now this is a vision that John is getting. He said he saw that it was like, it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. So he was looking out of a glass window and he seen America burning. Now that's what he mean by I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. So let you know that in those so-called UFOs, in those chariots, they have windows, and when you're going to be looking out the window, and you're going to be seeing America burning by thermonuclear fire. And he says, let me read it again, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. Now, those that got the victory over the beast, which means, which is the so-called white man, the red who Edomite, and uh, in his ways, you know, those that it, uh keep the so-called white man's ways and traditions, you know, that came back to these law, statute, commandments and called on Yahweh and Yahweh shot and rehearsed these law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability. Now, that's those who got the victory. That's the 144,000 and the one third. And them that got the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark. So now these are the people that didn't take their RFID microchip as well. They was caught up on the so-called UFOs, on the chariots. And over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh. So we was on the, so, so I, I pray that I'm in that number. So the, the, the 144,000 in the, the elect, the elect of Israel, the one in the one third was on the so-called UFO, the chariot, looking through the windows at America being burned. With harps, they were singing praises unto Yahweh. So they had having the harp, having the harps of Yahweh. So while America was burning, and those you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you Israelites, you two thirds that took that mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, while you was down here burning with the so-called white man, the, the Edomites, and the other nations, the elect 
the 144,000 elect and one third was on the chariots, you know, having a party, listening to music, playing music, dancing and, and, and laughing and drinking wine, looking down, watching y'all be burned and tormented. That's what that is saying. Matter of fact, let me show you one of these chariots. Man, let me see if I can, well, let's go to here first. Let me read this. Let me read this, and then I'll show you a chariot. Let, let's read this. Now, this is a bill. And this is a uh, the HB 1177. This is a bill in Arkansas that I ran across uh, today at work. We're on my way from work. And you see it says a, a bill. It says uh, March the 7th, 2019, uh, by Representative S. Meeks Brown, uh, Christensen, Cloud, Love, Lynch, uh, civilian. It says House Bill 177, one, House Bill 1177. One, All right, then it says right here, if you look where it got the number eight and nine at, I'm going to read from there. It says for an act to be entitled, an act, an act to protect employees from forced human microchip imp, imp, ugh, impl, implantation, oh, salakia, I can't even pronounce the word, implantation, and for other purposes, sub, subtitle, to protect employees from forced human microchip implantation. So this is a bill to try to, you know, where it's saying that they could, if you read this bill, you can go look it up and read it for yourself. And it's kind of talking about, you know, uh, trying to help the people that don't take the microchip in so many words, trying to help them keep their jobs. You know what I'm saying? Where it won't affect their job if they don't take the RFID microchip. Now, this is a bill they're trying to pass. They ain't got it passed yet, but they're trying to pass it because they making the, the microchip um, retroactive, man, up, up in um, Arkansas, where all the employees going to have to have microchips, man. And so now they're trying to come with a bill where if you don't get this microchip, you don't lose your job. So that's what they're trying to do right now in Arkansas. They're trying to get this bill passed. So that lets you know that they're about to make this thing nationwide. And here's another part of the bill. You can just get this bill and go read it, man. You see, it's a couple of pages. It's about four pages, uh, three or four pages. Get this bill and read it, and you can see what they're doing. Let me see right here. It says, microchip means technology that is, is designed to imp be implanted in the body of an individual. See, and that's this one right here, and that's around uh, that's A. So, yeah, just get it and read it, man. So that lets you know that... Uh, Esau, the red Hebrew Edomite, mic, is on his way to to chip you so they can know you at all times and they can play they can play God. That's what they're trying to do. That's why the Bible says he seemed to make him he seemed to set himself on high as God. So, but yeah, this is that bill. So that lets you know that they here, man, is going down. And now let me show you one of the chariots. Let me show you one of these so-called UFOs, one of the chariots of Israel that we'll be sitting in if I'm, I'll be in, if I'm in that number. I, I, I pray that I'll be in that number. Let me see. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find it. Hell, Mr. Lockett. I spelled it wrong anyway, first of all. Let me see if I can find it. Let's go to images. I put gold ship outside of the outside of Earth. Ah, voila, there it go. Now they spotted this outside of of one of the satellites picked this up outside of Earth. And you see that that's a so-called UFO. That's a chariot of Israel. In this gold. And so what this scripture is saying that the elect the 144,000 and one third will be sitting in this like 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 what it's doing right now. You see how it's above the earth? They're going to be looking down at America being burnt. Let me see. Let me get a better one if I can find a better. See that? So it's like they're going to be sitting like the 144,000 
and the elect will be set in this ship, this chariot, that be the glass window like it was in fire, looking down at America and the different parts of the earth on fire, but America been ultimately destroyed. And watching you all who take that RFID microchip being tormented in that lake of fire, which is America, from them thermonuclear missiles. <clears throat> all right, so let's go... Um, let me get another scripture. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go here and I'm going to play I'm going to play this video and I'm going to turn it down and I'm just going to read about two more scriptures and I'm going to end it. All right, let's go here. It's taking over. There's no escape. You better get moving. Ready on it's commercial. Well, I'm gonna let this play, and I'm just gonna read the scriptures in the background. Like you just literally put your hand up, and you're good to go. Like that's crazy. Hi, my name's Charlie Warzel. I'm a senior All right, writer with BuzzFeed so News, and let uh, me, uh, I'm gonna go to Revelations uh, 19 and 20, and I'm gonna read that while this play right here. Just to show you, since we read about the RFID microchip, uh, Revelations 19 and 20. Ah, uh, Salakia. Okay. Matter of fact, I think I'm uh, I'm gonna start at um, 19, Revelations 19 and 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. So this is talking about that um, he saw the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, that, which is the beast. And it said the kings, which is the other nation, which would be China, Japan, Turkey, <coughs> Salakia, Saudi Arabia, and Iran, different other you know nations. And uh, he saw them and their armies get it together to make war against Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? He said when when he said he seen um uh, 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 it was said, I'm let me read it again. It says, and I saw the beast, Revelation 19, 19, and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat upon the horse, which that him is Yahweh Shai, and that horse is the chariot, the so-called UFO, one of the ones you just seen. And against his army, so that's why Donald Trump, Donald Trump wanted that um, wanted wanted that space, the space um, space military military, because the so-called white man is the beast, the red Hebrew man is the beast, you know. So in his army and the so-called other armies of the earth, which are the Chinese army, Japanese, Iran, Turkey, and all these different armies, gonna come together and try to fight Yahweh Shah and the angels and Michael the archangels. Verse twenty. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophets. Mm -hmm. So it said the beast, the beast was taken, and with him the false prophets. So that means um, that um, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, and the um, armies of the world, the Chinese, Japanese, Iran, Turkey, all of them, they was defeated by Yahweh Shah and the angels. And it says in the false, uh, with he was taken, and with him the uh, the false prophets. And the false prophets would be those who are out here um, calling on different names and not calling on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's not keeping it. And they're not rehearsing the law, statutes, and commandments. You know what I'm saying? So they just going against the word of the Most High, period. That's the false prophets. And that war, that wolf miracles before him. Uh, I'm, I'm in verse 20, Revelations 19 and 20. Uh, mid sentence with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone so this right here is also saying too if you receive that mark of the beast the RFID microchip that you're going to be thrown you're going to be thrown into the lake of fire which is the um which is uh, thermonuclear fire with the so-called white men, and you're gonna be burned. You're gonna be burned there with them. So that's what this is saying. 
All right. And um, with this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So that just let you know, man, if you take this mark of the beast, most high going to put you to death and with the other nations. So they about to make this thing mandatory. And we hear people, so it's time to call on you. How about Shimmy? How about Shy? Get yourself together, man. All right. Shalom, Yashela. Call on you. How about Shimmy? How about Shy? Shalom.